So I'm in the process right now of moving, yay, and figured I'd give you guys a reptile room tour. I don't think I've actually done one before with this room and I'm about to leave it. So I figured now is as good as time as any to show you guys the Neptune the Chameleon reptile room. So I'm in a two bedroom, two bath. So this is the second bedroom that functions as an office and a reptile room. Obviously this is the side you guys are most interested in and this is the boring office side, but let me give you guys a tour. All right, we're gonna start over here because I know this is what everyone wants to see. So these are my chameleon enclosures. I have three chameleons. So first up is Neptune, my panther chameleon, who is right there. He is not a fan of me or the camera, but this is his enclosure. It's a dragon strand screen, 24 by 24 by 48 inch tall enclosure if you want. An enclosure tour, let me know, but we've got all life plants. That's something I'm very proud of. Natural branches that have been sanitized from outside. Potted life plants down at the bottom. I've got holes drilled in the bottom of the PVC floor. And then I'll talk about this later, but these are the, the racks and shelves that he's on. So he's got dragon ledges to be able to have his little bird feeder cup that I use for his bugs. Um, we've got his up at the top three different bulbs. This one on the left is his UVB bulb. I currently am running the Arcadia Pro T5 6% 36 inch UVB bulb. Then I've got his heat bulb right there. Um, and then this is a Jungle Dawn plant LED bar that actually runs across two enclosures right there. And what's cool about the Arcadia Pro T5 and Jungle Dawn is they actually connect in the back I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> so then they can turn on and off together. And then we've got this little homemade dripper that I've made. I have a tutorial video on that. But yeah, this is Neptune's enclosure. Oh, one thing I get asked is like the background. Um, so he's got a background. Luna's got three on hers. And then um, Apollo's got this like kind of wood thing in the back. So if you want a printed background, you can use code Neptune1 at checkout to get 10% off petbackdrops.com. So feel free to check that out. So Neptune's enclosure is totally screen, but in order to have a visual barrier, I put Luna in the middle because she's got the dragon strand hybrid. So it's three sides are PVC, screen top, screen front, and you have the option of a screen bottom or you can do the PVC floor. So that's what I've done for Luna. This is hers. It's the same size of enclosure, but hers is a, a newer model. And of course that hybrid. Oh, one thing to mention, um, Neptune's got his misting system. You can see the tubing connects between all the enclosures and then runs down the back up there to the tippy top of Apollo's enclosure and then runs all the way down back here. Um, this is my water holder for all the water. And then down in the back here is the, the misting system with all the pump and electronics and things like that. So like I mentioned, Luna is in the 24, 24 by 48 inch tall enclosure. We can say hi to her. She is a female Christopher Parsons chameleon. In theory, she should be gravid right now because I made her with my male Apollo, who you will see in a bit. But there's Luna, little focus. Yeah, so again, all natural branches. The primary plant in her enclosure, believe it or not, is this pothos. Back here, like, this is a pothos. This is a pothos. Like, look at this. This is so thick. This giant guy in the front has been taking over. This is also a pothos plant. Um, you've got this begonia, which is that pop of color. Um, some more little plants in here. I do have multiple videos on plants, so feel free to check those out if you want to know what to use. Um, and you guys can get a close up on that parented background um, that I've just kind of cut out. Not very well, don't look closely. <laughs> and glued. Um, and then we've got one single Miss King nozzle, two on that side. Same UVB bulb, the Arcadia Pro T5 6%, and then her heat bulb and dripper. Very similar setup to Neptune's enclosure there. And then she's got the PVC holes. This is a good close up for you guys right there. So when the water 
um, hits the floor, then it can pull down there and then gets caught in these buckets down here. And then next up, we've got Apollo's enclosure. I get asked all the time where this is from. It's a custom build. I got it from somewhere else. You can't, you can't buy them like this. It's a custom built. It's 24 by 24 by six feet tall. Um, so you can see it's got the extra two feet and that's because Apollo is my largest chameleon. You'll see that he's got this black paneling. It's attached, if you look closely, right on the outside. That way he can't see into the other chameleon enclosures because they have screen tops and he'd be able to look down if he was up there. Please excuse the dead plant <laughs> that's up there. Um, I'm in the process of moving, so I take all the plants out when I move. So I'm like, I'll just wait till I move to replace that one. But here's Apollo right there. He's my male Christopher Parsons chameleon. He's my biggest, like I mentioned, which is why he has the biggest enclosure. But all natural branches. Um, he again has the the hole at the bottom. I'm planning on redoing his enclosure, honestly, but um, this is what it is so far. We've got live plants, pothos, um, there's another begonia. What's kind of interesting because this is six feet tall and the lights are way up there, they don't necessarily get all the way down here to help these plants. So I actually got this, it's just like a desk lamp from Target and it goes in here. Not only does it make this area just lighter, um, but then I feel like it's been helping the plants. They've been staying alive where I've definitely killed a bunch of plants <laughs> down here. Um, all natural branches he doesn't have any dragon strand ledges. So this is just a prime example of being able to still provide lots of branches for your chameleon even without the ledges. Um, they're attached with zip ties, but this is by far his favorite branch. And then he's got a couple Miss King nozzles. He's got this one here, um, and then a couple up at the top there so then they can kind of fall down. He's got a dripper way up there. This is why I have a ladder. Um, and then his bird feeder cup. Oh, I forgot to mention Luna's is back there. Can you see it? There it is. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is Apollo's enclosure. So let's briefly talk about what's happening down at the bottom of these enclosures. So these are Shelvinias, they're the brand Craftsman. I believe I did find them off of Amazon for you guys. So feel free to check out my Amazon store where I actually have linked all the different products that I use, lights, cages, well, dragon strand cages are on Amazon, but other ones are um, supplements, all that good stuff, including these guys. So these have, I'm gonna try and show you these slits in them right here so water can fall through. Um, they're about a foot tall, two feet tall, foot and a half, something like that, a good chunk. So then they keep the enclosures up off the ground because you never want to have your enclosures on the ground. And then I just have these buckets that I picked up from Target, nothing fancy to just catch the water. And then this is like a garage mat. It's a little rubbery kind of guy. Um, and this is just to help protect the carpet from potential water. Hindsight's 2020. If I thought this through, I would have moved this all the way over, but I didn't. <laughs> and so sometimes this gets a little wet, but if you're in an apartment, or renting or something like that, like I would definitely recommend doing that because I did have a little bit of water damage left over in my previous apartment from the chameleon enclosure. So just learn from me. <laughs> so there you go. And then just talking electronics a little bit back here. It's not pretty, but it does the job. We've got this outlet strip, power strip, whatever you call it, that all the lights are plugged into, which then goes into this timer. If you can see that. It's one single timer for all those outlets, um, which has been pretty great to use, so. And because the Paul's enclosure is so tall, I have to run separate electronics because they just won't reach all over there. So his come all the way down the side and then they run back here into that timer and power strip. So making our way over, we have this kind of storagey section. So I've got my bucket for my Miss King water, this cute little chameleon that my cousin got me. Uh, and then I have just this quote that I really like that my best friend got for me, just fills up the space nicely. We've got a little pothos plant and then a bigger pothos plant, just kind of filling up the space. A little Gumby, this little lizard guy that I got from Hawaii. 
And then back here, we just have a bucket that I use to fill this guy, um, a manual pump mister, and then my Miss King bucket for my Crested Gecko, which is actually broken right now, so I need to troubleshoot and fix that. Um, otherwise, we just have a lane bin on standby for Luna, um, and then just some extra storage down here. And then I've got my Crested Gecko in this enclosure. He's got his own misting system. Um, he likes to stay in this little tunnel right there. Whoa, focus. They're nocturnal, but that's Pluto, the Crested Gecko, in his enclosure right there. Um, it's bioactive. It's got cork bark um, and just lots of things for him to climb and hide in. And then in this corner, we have this fake tree that I got from Home Goods. This is what I use to free range my chameleon so I can take it out, move it to the center of the room or take it outside. It's super versatile. I really like that. And then I've just got an extra stool scale and then my step ladder to get to the top of Apollo's enclosure. And then right to the right of that, I have this piece of artwork that a friend of mine made for me. It's supposed to be like an abstract tulip. I thought it was really cool. And this is my desk setup. Um, my monitor's are already taken down, getting ready for the move, but this is just a standing desk. This is where the magic happens, where I can edit videos and reply to all your comments. Um, and this is a pretty slick standing desk. Huh? That's pretty nice. Am I right? And then I've got a whiteboard here. Um, where I typically will brainstorm different video ideas, to-do lists, all that good stuff. I have this little, I think it's a gecko, um, but it's got glasses. So I thought it was kind of a good combination between like office and reptile room art. I did get this off Amazon, so I will link it in my Amazon store for you guys. And then just this little wall holder to hold all my like notebooks and miscellaneous papers. Um, and then just a window in the room and then we're back over here so that's it like the whiteboard says if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe and follow neptune the chameleon on, on all of my channels tiktok instagram all that good stuff and i'll see you guys in the next video and of course everyone likes to see animals in a reptile room tour so i'll give you guys another clip of luna there she is still in the process of shedding so that's why she looks like that and I'll try to get you another clip of Neptune, but honestly, no promises, because he likes to freak out, but let's see. There he is. Oh, life is in the way. You can kind of see him. Let's see if we go this way. Oh, yeah. There you go. He's also in the process of shedding, so that's why he looks a little dull. There he is. And last but not least, Show you guys Apollo one more time. He's just wicked cool. Look at those little horns. He's so big, like this is my hand for comparison.